Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks. Sampler V Series V's. I do for a while. I'll go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff and drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. This is a brand new spot. We're going to be reviewing some stuff from a brand new spot. I think this place actually just opened last year. Uh, but we'll get into it, but it's a little bit of a thing. Anyway, uh, folks, super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing that, I'm going to yam around about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing that, I'm inside my truck. Whilst I'm doing that, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight super cool shirt. Super cool shirt am I wearing today? Boom, it's my scold shirt. Which, if you are not familiar with Scold, it's this dude. Uh, his name is Tim Scold. Actually, I think that might be just his, uh, his performing name, but I'll be honest with you, I couldn't tell you what his real name is off the top of my head. Or even not off the top of my head. I don't know it off the top. I just don't know it. Um, but I do like Tim Scold. He is a musician. He's been kicking around at least since the 90s. Um, he's worked with a bunch of you know high-profile people over the years. Uh, he's had his work, you know, used in soundtracks and stuff. That's actually where I became aware of him. He had a song on the Twisted Metal 4 soundtrack. And a few months back, I saw that he was going to be performing live, like, you know, maybe a 20-minute drive or so from my house. Eh, a little bit more than that. And I was like, boom, let's hit it. Let's get this done. So I went out, saw him perform. Totally badass. The crowd was totally into it. The... You know, just everything about it. it was one of those things, like, if you've ever been to shows, and I always recommend it, it's a really fun experience, but if you've been to a show, like, there's just, there's like an ambiance that kind of takes things over when the crowd is really into it and the band is really into it, and that was definitely the case for that show. It was just, like, everybody, there was, like, just this super cool energy. Um, I ended, That was one of those shows where, like, I was a fan before, I left as a much bigger fan, because I was just... I loved it. I loved it so much. In fact, I actually have a couple videos of that show on this channel. Just in case you're interested, maybe you want to check out some badass music. I have an entire playlist of just concert videos that I've been to over the years. But anyway, what am I trying for you folks? What are we doing? Where's it from? Why is it from a brand new place? Well, folks, we're trying something from... Boom! Mr. Grill Express. Which... Like I said, there's a little bit of a story there because uh, the location that it's in, it's in this little strip mall. I'd been keeping an eye on it for probably at least a year or so because originally there was this little Indian restaurant there. And I'd been in there a couple times. People were always very nice. The food was good. Uh, probably would have ended up doing a sampler platter for some of their stuff. But for whatever fucking reason, I don't know if it was them, I don't know if it was them specifically, or the, uh, store next to theirs, or whatever, but part of the location caught on fire, and it ended up being a thing where it was like, you know, I was waiting to see if they were going to come back, or what was going to happen, didn't end up happening, instead we got Mr. Grill Express, so hopefully this is really good, because, you know, I really do miss that cool little Indian spot, let's see what's going on, first thing that I'm going to review, Boom, we got a gyro. But, and it comes with okra, which has me very excited. I have not had okra in years, man, and I'm down with some okra. But let's take a look at the gyro. Interesting fun fact about your buddy Brandon Wenzel. I will eat fucking gyro whenever, just any time of day, all days of the week. Let's take a look at it. So... And I got it minus the uh, the lettuce and uh, or I'm sorry, not the uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. the tomato and the onion. I don't I, no. I just want the freaking meat in the sauce. Ugh. Ooh, okay. Well, I'm not gonna lie. As much as I always try to be positive, this isn't the best looking gear I've ever had. It's a little weak looking. Um, let's see if we can't like get a thing. Ah ha 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 ha. Mind you, it could still taste absolutely delicious. I am a little bit... Yeah, man, there's just not a lot of meat. It's like three, four strips of gyro meat. All right, 
Let's give it a go. I've yammered on for way too long. The tzatziki sauce is interesting. I'm wondering if it's like freshly made in-house. Either that or maybe they get it from like a different distributor or something. Because it's like very cucumber forward in a way that I don't think I've ever had with the tzatziki sauce. Like, I mean, you know, it's, it's cucumber sauce. Basically, it's got a thing to it, but this really has a punchy cucumber flavor. Um... Well, the sauce is a little bit unusual. I'll be honest with you, I don't, I don't need lettuce in this either. <laughs> Just why? Um, yeah. I don't know about this one, which is a shame because, you know, I always like stuff to do well. Yeah, I'm definitely guessing that the tzatziki sauce is, like, freshly made because, like, it does not have the normal consistency of the... Kind of dunk it in there. I mean, it's not horrible. I should emphasize that. It's not even bad, but the meat just doesn't have like that that vibrancy that Euro meat is supposed to have. Like Euro meat doesn't taste like anything else in the world. Euro meat tastes like Euro meat. And it's a wonderful, beautiful thing. And it's one of those great things because you get a really good Euro. It's simple, it's filling, and it's delicious. This is okay at best. I'm just, I'm not getting the joy that I should be getting out of this gyro. It's okay. But like I said, meat just doesn't have a lot of flavor. The pita is good. I'll say that. The pita is good. It has a decent flavor to it, plus it's a little crispy on the outside, which I like. Um, I mean, again, I try to be a positive person. Problem is, man, it's like, I've had a lot of really, really, really good Euros. And the great thing about a Euro is that, like, it's not that hard to get a good one, at least not where I live. I got a number of spots. You know, that I could go over there and hit up, get a really good one. This doesn't even come close. It doesn't even rank. Um, I mean, the better aspects of it, like I said, I like the pita. I think the tzatziki sauce, even though it's not what I'm used to, I don't entirely mind that. Like, I think it's actually, I think it does taste good. And... Like, it tastes fresh. I will 100% give, give it to him on the sauce. I taste very fresh. It does have a different flavor profile, which kind of throws me a little bit because I'm used to the, you know, certain type of flavor. But, I, like, I don't hate the sauce. The fundamental problem I have is it basically all comes down to the meat. Uh, I don't feel like there's enough in there, and what is there just isn't all that flavorful. It's just... It's just okay. But, the problem is, man, with a Euro, it can't just be okay. A Euro is really one of those things where it needs to be great. And it's not hard for it to be great, but, you, you know, you have to... Two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Um, and I hate to do this, especially to a local spot, but no one know. There's... I could go to... At least three other spots I can think of off the top of my head 
that are closer to me than this spot, because it's not far, but, you know, it's a drive out of the way, so I'm not usually there, that I'm going to get <clears throat> just a way better Euro experience. You know, it's just going to be what I'm looking for. It's not horrendous, but it's just like, why? You know, living in the Chicago... I mean, you know, I don't know what other people's availability is, but living in the Chicagoland area, it's like, you can get good gyros at lots of places, man. This, unfortunately, just isn't one of them. It's not horrible, horrible, but it's it's extremely weak. So, I hate to do it, because I always like to be positive, but... Um, and, yeah, I just can't recommend it. I just can't recommend it. Not in good conscience. So, anyway... Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of week. Run your mentor. It's a bunch of penance rest of your folks. You can go over there. Have yourselves a truly proper Eurotastic rest of your life. Or Gyro. Or however you would like to pronounce it. I always pronounce it Gyro. I always pronounce it Gyro with the hard G. But then people are like, no, you got it. It's Gyro. And I was like, whatever, man. I'll just, just tell me what to freaking call it. And I'll call it that. I don't get, tell me to call it a hat. And I'll fucking eat a hat. I don't give a damn. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do all the time, I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there with you in it, folks. Trust me, man. Dealing with stuff sometimes is just an absolute crapshoot. Oh, you know what? We'll do a quick little mini review for the okra. Because why not? It's here. Okra! I have some very okay okra. I mean, it's not slimy or anything. That's like one thing you got to watch out for with okra. But, yeah, it's just very okay. Like, there's it's kind of the same thing with the meat. Like, there's just not a lot of flavor to it. It's okay, but it doesn't, similar to the gyro, it doesn't really have that okra aspect that I'm looking for. But, again, it's not horrible. Anyway, it's important when we run into situations in our life that are stressful, frustrating, etc., disappointing. Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, here's what I want you to do. If you're so inclined. Go out and get yourself a badass hero. Seriously. There's, I mean, you know... And again, I have to emphasize, it's like, you know, I live in a good spot for this stuff. I don't know what availability is for other people. But, man, look, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do a Euro Redemption review because of this. I'm gonna go to one of my spots, and I'm going to go get a proper Euro and showcase exactly how fantastic a Euro can be. Because this is just so weak, unfortunately. It, it really does warrant it so expect that at some point i don't know when but it, it's going to be a thing for sure uh or conversely i mean you don't have to get a euro you can get whatever you'd like but euros are good usually bye